Look at this distension of my stomach. So this is just the magnesium drinks I've been drinking and the gallbladder issue. I'm getting like a cramp right now. And I'm feeling like, oh shit, I'm feeling a spasm. Fuck, this is real. Hey YouTube, I missed you guys. Gosh, I haven't made a video or a vlog in so long. I'm back and um, I wish I could say I'm better than ever because the nature of this video is not like fun, but I'm okay. Overall, I've just been busy making um, lots of transitions. So I'll catch you guys up in future videos on that. Um, I am in a new place, so that's kind of cool. What happened was I woke up 6 a.m. with the most excruciating like spasms in the pit of my stomach. It was right under the center of the rib cage, kind of like radiating all over and it was just, my whole digestion was really screwed up. Yeah, it was an excruciating pain for like 6 a.m. until like 9.30 p.m. How did we find out it was a gallbladder attack? My friend, my best friend Renee came over and she noticed and recognized it because her boyfriend went through the exact same thing. All the symptoms checked out. We looked up everything like position and we, we figured out this pressure point that's supposed to alleviate the, the spasm and it worked. So that was a telltale sign that it's probably a gallbladder attack. So what happens is the gallbladder, you know, it gets blocked with these like stones that your body, um, it's like cholesterol stones or I don't even freaking know what the heck it's made out of. I'm not well versed on this. My friend Renee's actually coming over. Maybe she'll talk about it a little bit better. So what we're going to do is a gallbladder flush. Now this, some people would say, um, this is controversial. Maybe don't do it. Um, a lot of doctors will tell you to do it. Um, I've heard many mixed things and from all the people the, there was this doctor that made a video on this on YouTube. I'm not saying any names. I don't even know his name. So whatever, but all the comments were saying like, you know, I, I respect you doctor, but this time you're wrong. This actually works. And so many people like a hundred percent of the comments were like, this works, this works. So it's incredible what the stories were. Like some people release hundreds of little like stones, you know, if you want to go looking for it in your stool, you can find them. I don't know if I'm down for that. I mean, I'm not going to show you guys. So like, don't expect to see, um, stuff like that in the video. I don't think. Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be an interesting experience. Uh, stay tuned for the rest. Friends. What's up? It's mindful Matos here. Renee. Hey, so I'm on a rescue mission right now. Um, I'm on my way to the store to get some grapefruit and lemons, magnesium oxide and olive oil. Um, I'm on my way to go save my friend Cat, Conscious Cat. My girl is having a gallbladder attack. And I want to make this video because a lot of people have experienced this and don't know what the hell it is and also a lot of people have been misled by their doctors who think they need to get the freaking organ removed you need your gallbladder people um you don't have a gallbladder just because you have gallstones now i understand if it's a chronic problem and maybe you're in your 70s and you've had gallstones your entire life that might be a different situation but if you're in your 30s or younger or even a little older you don't need your organ out you're being misled the gallbladder can be cleansed um, I was talking with Kat yesterday and she was in a lot of pain she thought it may have been a stomach ulcer I went to the store for her on my way home and I grabbed her some supplies that I thought would have been for a stomach ulcer and uh, I get to her place and you guys she was not in a good state she was buckled over the couch like just sobbing hysterically like the pain was so bad so i told her um i thought it it sounded like a spasm of some sort so i said all right you know what i think this is your gallbladder i wonder if there's some sort of massage we can do to maybe move the gallstone around you know because it seemed like the bile ducts could have been full that's why your gallbladder goes into spasm so we looked up a video by dr berg He's awesome. 
um, on how to apply pressure to your pancreas, which is the opposite side of the gallbladder. And sure enough, she did the massage, the pressure point on the pancreas and the, the spasm in the gallbladder stopped. So that's how we knew it's a, it's a gallbladder attack. Um, speaking of Dr. Berg, he doesn't fully agree with the cleanse that we're about to do because he thinks that doing this gallbladder flush flushes too much bile. However, we are supporting her gallbladder with bile salts immediately after, and we're only doing one gallbladder flush. Um, listen, you can listen to anyone's video on the internet and you may disagree or you may totally agree. That is totally okay. So as much as I love and respect Dr. Berg, I disagree. I do think that if you're having a gallbladder attack, a gallbladder flush is beneficial as long as you support the gallbladder afterwards. Um, my boyfriend Ray has done a couple gallbladder flushes. They do work. He did expel gallstones. They were dark brown, almost black, like little rocks. Those were not bile stones. Those were gallstones. So anyway, um, I'm on my way to the store. I'm grabbing the supplies for Kat. Um, stay tuned till I get to her house and we'll tell you guys more. All right, fam, I just got to Kat's house. We got our grapefruit, lemons. We got our magnesium oxide powder. I'm just reading over the instructions again because I personally have not done this, but Ray has. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're gonna be taking our first dose of magnesium at two o'clock mm -hmm. and Kat can no longer eat after two o'clock. All right, dude, so you gotta eat like rice or oats rice. for lunch. It's your last meal. Like, real? It's all you can eat for the rest When's of the, the day. When's the next time I can eat? Tomorrow. What time? In the morning. Oh, dude. <laughs> 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 eat up, no. it's your last meal. Why? So, for the next four hours, all you have to do is pet your cat. Yes. That's gonna be easy. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Fishy. Kisses. Oh. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> All right, friends. So my friend Renee left and left me with instructions and supplies. All you really need for this cleanse is the magnesium oxide, a little bit of time off, and um, olive oil, grapefruits, and lemons, like fresh. You want to squeeze it fresh. You don't want to get like pre-squeezed store-bought kind. So yeah, that's it. So basically the procedure is simple. I've stopped eating fats for 24 hours. I've also had a meal of oatmeal and rice, so like separate like meals. Um, that basically what that does is just build the bile pressure. Um, so those were my two meals before 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is done eating, no more eating. At 2 p.m. I took my first dose of magnesium oxide. Then I will have another dose at 6 p.m. and again at 8 p.m. Then I have an alarm set for all of those and then I have another alarm at 9.45 to put everything next to my bed for the evening, for the morning, because you're not gonna wanna get out of bed if possible, because movement is important for this procedure to work. You have to follow everything within like 10 minutes of each step. So like, like if it says it's at eight o'clock, you don't wanna, you know, go or stray within 10 minutes of that time schedule. It's important for this cleanse. So I have everything in bedside. What I will do at 9.45 is prepare the olive oil juice and uh, mix it. So I'm not mixing it until 9.45. I'm gonna drink it at 10 and exactly as I drink it, I stand up, drink it, and then you sit, you lay down immediately on your right side fetal position for 30 minutes. My alarm will go off again at 10.30 and then I have to flip on my left side and that's how you go to sleep. So in fetal position. So that's going to be interesting. So I'll have like a body pillow so I don't turn or, or prevent that from happening. So the next morning you have your alarm set at 6 a.m. And then what you do is you don't move. You don't get up. You have everything bedside ready. You drink your next dose of magnesium. So at 8 a.m. you stay in bed. 
if you can, because you might go to the bathroom and evacuate. But at 8 a.m., you're going to take another dose. So that I think that's your last dose. Three cups or more water. I mean, each time it tells you like how much water to drink and everything. But you still haven't eaten. So it's like you're fasting and drinking magnesium, basically. So at 8 a.m., you know, you're just chilling in bed. You lay in bed. I'll watch like YouTube or something. 10 a.m., you're good to go. You can get up. You can eat. So you're basically treating it like you're coming off of a fast. You're starting with juice fruits and raw things for that first day. So you go easy on your stuff. So I've ordered a supplement, which I will share once it gets here, and that will help to maintain the health of bile productions. Oh yeah, and after I ate, after I ate the rice, and I was fine all morning, I didn't have pain until after I ate, I started having the spasms again, but it wasn't bad at all. And we did this pressure point and it went away instantly like within seconds you just kind of keep massaging it so if you guys are ever in trouble um you find your rib cage you're like like an inch down and two inches over like right under the rib you you want to massage your left side even though your pink uh your gallbladder is here your pink there's like an opposite pressure point that you push you'll find like a little like almost like a hard it's hard or like a little lump so once you start massaging that, if you're in pain and that goes away, the pain goes away once you do that, that could be your gallbladder. So um, again, I'm not like a physician, I'm no doctor. I'm not here to like diagnose you or, or like, you know, all that stuff. I wanna read you guys this paragraph because it's pretty interesting. Eventually you may have to eliminate up to 2000 stones in several sessions over a long period of a year or so before the liver is clean enough to rid you of all allergies or upper back or other symptoms permanently. The first cleanse may rid you of them for a while, but as the stones from the rear of the liver travel forward, they might give you the same symptoms again. You may repeat this gallbladder liver cleanse at a two month interval until no more stones come out. And then your symptoms are gone permanently. All right, guys, it is 7.49 p.m. It's almost 8 o'clock. Look at this distension of my stomach. I haven't eaten anything since um, right before 2 p.m. So this is just the magnesium drinks I've been drinking and the gallbladder issue. I'm getting like a cramp right now. And I'm feeling like, oh shit, I'm feeling a spasm. Fuck, this is real. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that real quick. I'm about to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I have remote control for my lights, tissue in a rag just in case, extra waters, um, the magnesium. I got the juices and the olive oil ready to go. I got plates and cat food for kitties in the morning because I don't want to get up. And then my measuring scoopers and stuff. Yeah, so that's... Oh. You could feel everything sloshing around. It's a very awful sensation. I had to rinse my mouth because I gotta put the trays back in. And when I turn my left side, I'm gonna put my Invisalign back in. I wear retainers at night. So that acid will not be good. If you leave it on your enamel, like, no way, dude. So I had to go rinse that off. Um, I advise you guys to do that too or just rinse have like a rinsing thing next to you and then just really slowly walk back because you could feel all that like liquid moving it's so weird and nothing hurts um oh, this lighting's awful <laughs> it's like the ghoul lighting <laughs> oh my god this works real life right here real life stuff so I gotta do this I'm gonna turn around on my left side and go to sleep so I'll keep you guys updated on how it's feeling as I go right now I just you feel the cold orange juice I mean sorry cold grapefruit juice kind of like oozing its way I guess being on the right side you're kind of hitting certain areas of the stomach I don't know or you empty out but if you go on your left side you don't empty so you kind of hold hold some of it in 
Fuck, I have to sneeze. <sighs> Just a yawn. I just hope I don't shit myself, because, like, everything back there feels really loose. Oh my god, it's like, scary. <laughs> like, don't, don't fart, guys, like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, yeah, don't fart. Don't think you have to fart. You don't. You won't fart. You're gonna shart. I didn't mess up. I didn't find out the hard way. Disclaimer. But. Just don't fart, okay? <laughs> Alright. My alarm's gonna go off. Um, at 10.30. And I'll, I'll rotate like a rotisserie carrot. Flush number two is upon us. I am starting flush number dos because for the last three days I've been having my gallbladder symptoms returning. Um, I had a flush scheduled a week later from today. So actually I want to do it sooner because I'm feeling the symptoms again magically. So, you know, they say do four flushes in four months. I think it's been three weeks or less uh, since my first flush um, and I felt amazing and much better after that. I think what brought this gallbladder attack or spasm back is a really fatty meal. I had um, buttered popcorn and it was like coconut butter. It's like that, you know, flavored popcorn, butter, whatever, um, organic, blah, blah, whatever. It's just fat and um, it did not like me so um, immediately I noticed how bad I felt I actually vomited and yeah that was definitely bad I am just sharing my journey or experience so that you know if you guys are out there you wonder what this is like you could see someone going through it and um, you know I think this is really great because this means that I don't have to go to the hospital. I don't need no surgery. Like people think that when you have these issues, you have to go remove the organ. Like, no, you don't. You can heal yourself. You can save yourself. And if you're not your own doctor, you're not doing your own research on top of everything, then what are you doing? So today, only eat fruit and vegetables. No oils, fats, or proteins. Vegetables can be seasoned or steamed, but no oils. Throughout the day, you want to drink either unfiltered apple juice or apple cider. Trader Joe's has a good one, apparently. Um, but, you know, make sure it's no sugar added or sediment at the bottom of those. Um, yeah, I actually have fresh apples, so I'm going to just juice some fresh apples. And then at the end of the day, um, you take some magnesium oxide. So I've been taking the magnesium oxide here and there, the powder, because it helps the spasm. Um, but yeah, today is the day that I will be doing the actual cleanse. So today I am not eating after two o'clock or drinking after two o'clock, which wasn't that hard the first time. I thought, oh my God, that's going to suck. But I just, you know, like, like a camel, I filled up my tank and, uh, I was good to go. At 2 PM, I'll take magnesium oxide and water at 6 PM, my next dose at 8 PM. I'll repeat that dose. Yeah, then at 9.45 p.m., I will actually eat or drink the olive oil. It's like a half a cup of olive oil, excuse me, three quarters cup, ill of olive oil. And then I'll put it into fresh squeezed grapefruit juice and lemon juice. And then you lay down immediately, like you have everything by your bed, so you don't have to get up. You want to lay down immediately, turn into like a fetal position on your side and lay there and then turn to your other side half an hour later and that's how you sleep and you wake up and you do a few more magnesium doses in the meantime you're running to the bathroom you know back and forth so that's gonna be cool what I'm gonna eat today I'm gonna start with an oatmeal breakfast with fruit and then I'm gonna have some cooked rice with I don't know whatever but it's gonna help build that pressure in the bile because I'm not having fats and then later on when I do, after all the magnesium and stuff, that's going to 
push the stones out much better because the, the pressure in the bile uh, ducts. So let's get on with it. All right, I have taken my 6 p.m. dose of magnesium. I haven't eaten since 2 p.m. Uh, what I had was rice with some nori sheets and uh, some cucumber and soy sauce. So that was my last meal. It's pretty filling actually. Um, and I'm not really hungry even though I haven't eaten since 2. It's 6 p.m. now. Um, because that magnesium is filling or I just, I don't know, I just don't feel that hungry. And, you know, I'm not feeling like pain at the moment from the gallbladder area but I'm just feeling like little bouts of nausea and just, you know, I just feel really, real dull, like really blah, you know? The flush is going well. It's not fun, but it's chill. You hear all kinds of gurgle noises in your stomach. It took me a while to flush myself for the first flush, if you know what I mean. I think it was like at five o'clock and I took the first magnesium at two. So the next step is to read the instructions. So the next step in about 45 minutes is to drink the olive oil and grapefruit juice mixture. I'm going to drink that standing up and then immediately lie down because the faster you lie down, the more stones you will eliminate when you introduce this much oil and the citrus blend your your liver and your your gallbladder just kind of like you know dumps a bunch of bile along with all the well, it'll spasm so it'll dump all that bile and you know crystals and stones and soot or whatever is in there that is causing the inflammation and blockage and pain at this time you know i will turn into fetal position on my right side and then in 30 minutes go back to the left side so yeah and then i'll wake up six in the morning take more magnesium and again I'll take magnesium at 8 a.m. and that'll be the end of the cleanse yeah so let's see how this goes wish me luck all right here's what I have on my bedside I have my magnesium I have two jars of water for the next two doses and an extra jar of water for rinsing my mouth and just to have by the bed and then I have the grapefruit and oil, which I'll combine right before I drink it. And I also have my toothbrush and a jar to spit in because I have to put a retainer in after that. You don't want to get up. You want to just lay down immediately as soon as possible. So having all this here kind of makes it convenient. I also have a mixing jar, which is like hard to keep looking good um, for the magnesium. And the instructions in case I need it. So, yeah. So I'm about to drink this and lie down, go to bed, and hopefully empty a lot of stones. Hi, guys. So it is the next day, and I am so much more relieved. It is over. The cleanse, it was a success. I woke up a few times. I couldn't really fall asleep right after that last drink. I couldn't fall asleep and stay asleep. I had to get up a few times to go, but... Regardless, I stayed very still for at least 30-40 minutes um, right after I drank the olive oil. <laughs> That's my cat. <laughs> it scared me. Um, yeah, so I couldn't really, you know, stay in that position too long because I had to go to the bathroom and flush. So, um, yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't know what time. I didn't check the time, but I did spit up a little bit and um, I did the first time too and that's just because you you have all this like oil and grapefruit in your stomach um, but I was able to go back to sleep and wake up at 6 a.m. drink more magnesium go to the bathroom a couple more times at 8 a.m. drink the last bit of magnesium and I was just chilling so um, yeah I passed a bunch of stuff like I said I don't go digging for these things I don't go digging for treasure to see but there was a moment where I could see more than usual and I saw in the bottom of the sediment there were those little gravel pieces of like reddish, brownish, like little, they're called stones or crystals. Those are from the gallbladder. They sink. And then the ones that float to the top, they are, they're like little moss balls. It's crazy. They look like little floating moss balls. Those are from the liver because they're more fatty. Um, 
And some people will say, oh, that's the olive oil. But it's if you drink, you can use coconut oil. You can put this to the test. You don't drink green colored oil. It's not going to show up like that. And there were various shades of green, so it can't be from the olive oil. But if you, if you don't want the color, you can try it with coconut oil. But So overall, this cleanse was a success. I will schedule another one in three weeks because I feel like the last cleanse definitely wasn't scheduled on time like i needed to do it a week earlier as the stones come out new ones push through so you know you can do this really effectively and pass thousands of stones in a couple of months and they say when you do this your permanent your symptoms are permanently gone so uh, whatever the symptoms are you have so many symptoms due to gallbladder issues it could be allergies it could be you know sinus it could be headaches it could be all kinds of issues um, skin rashes um, these things could dramatically improve by cleaning out your liver, cleaning out your gallbladder. It's like a tune-up for your car, you know? And I don't know if you guys can tell by my energy. I'm like so happy. And I'm also juice fasting today. So I'm going from gallbladder flush right into a solid food vacation today. So um, nothing but juices fresh pressed today. And I'll probably have a light dinner We'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll carry on the juice fast. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys found this somewhat helpful. You know, I would recommend you guys please do your research. If you're going to cleanse yourself, if you're going to try to heal yourself, do as much research as you can. Compare and contrast your cleanses maybe with another one just to see what they all have in common. Um, I do want to mention the thing I did change from this protocol is I didn't flip over because I read other cleanses say don't flip. Like it just says stay on that one side after you drink the olive oil. So I didn't flip over to my right 30 minutes later like this cleanse says. So, and as a result, I think it did better than my first cleanse. So as a result, I feel like this cleanse went better. Um, maybe I just did something else better too. I don't know, the timing could have been better or the fast prior to that could have been better or just laying on that side could have been better. I don't know, but it was just a more effective cleanse and I feel it. So I wanna close this video with a big thank you to my friend Ray and Renee for showing me this gallbladder cleanse because without them, I wouldn't be feeling as normal and as good as I am today. So thank you guys so much. And I wanna share this with you guys now through this video because I think it'll help so many other people too. So thank you for watching if you're still watching thank you for joining me on this journey and i hope it helps you or a friend do like share comment if you've ever done a gallbladder flush i would love to hear how yours went uh thank you for watching until next time